Hey guys, so this is my newest aircraft. This is the AXN Floater Glider from Hobby King. Now, like I do with all my aircraft, I have installed INAV in this one. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't manage to document the build process on this. Um, so rather than doing a step-by-step -step build video that I'd normally do, um, on this one, I'm gonna do a build overview instead. So I bought this as a PMP kit. So obviously you've got the airframe and that came with a motor, servo and all the ESCs pre-installed. Um, I then added my own flight controller, uh, GPS, uh, all the FPV gear, etc. So let's walk through this. So in the front here, the FPV camera is a Funcan Robin. Uh, these cameras are actually nice and cheap, but they're pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, under the canopy, there's not a lot of space in the... Um, AXN. So I've had to use a small flight controller. The flight controller I've used is, you can see it down there, a Matek F411 Mini flight controller, um, which actually rather conveniently perfectly fits in that space down there. Uh, it's a bit tight, but it does fit. Um, then the GPS is this guy here. Uh, this is a Matek. Uh, I can't remember the exact model. I'll put it up here somewhere. But it's a Matek GPS. Um, this is the GPS that also has a compass built in. Um, obviously, I don't need the compass, but I've gone for this just because it's nice and small. Um, then the receiver, as I do on all my aircraft, is a TBS Crossfire Nano receiver. Um, this is obviously great because it's brilliant for long range, but also it's extremely small and extremely light, which is especially useful on a glider. I then run the antenna, as you can see, through a channel in here, and then it comes out there. Um, the other end of the antenna extends down into the fuselage, which isn't a problem. Uh, foam isn't going to block the signals. Then over on this wing here, the video transmitter antenna is a Axie stubby antenna. Uh, obviously, this aircraft's running 5.8. And then underneath the aircraft, nestled in here, this is a video transmitter. Um, this is a TBS Unify something. I can't remember the name. Um, but it's an 800 milliwatt video transmitter. Um, obviously running on 5.8. Uh, in the front here, this section here, I had to widen this a little bit um, to be able to fit a 2200 3S battery. Um, the pre-cut slot just wasn't quite big enough, so I had to make it just a little bit bigger. Um, but then the 2200 3S pack will fit in there nice and snug, and it perfectly balances the CG, which is good. Um, the wings on the XN, unlike the Bixler, they're not actually screwed in place. Uh, it's literally just a friction fit. Let's see if I can just take one of these wings off a minute. You see on this wing here, I've actually cut a little slot just being the wing there. The reason for doing that is because if you look inside, you can see the other end of the crossbar antenna is running down through the fuselage there. So that little cutout is just to accommodate where the antenna goes. Like I said, the wings are detachable, so the servo and the video transmitter in this wing and the servo in this wing is on a plug so it can be easily removed. Um, so yeah, that's where all the hardware is installed. Uh, as for the wiring, I will put a wiring diagram on screen now. Uh, the wiring isn't too complicated. Um, the only problem with this aircraft is because there's very restricted space in here, it's a bit fiddly to get in to do the wiring. What I actually did was I actually had the flight controller rested here. I wired everything up and then I put the flight controller in place and just tucked all the wires down the back. Um, that is why the wiring in this one's a little bit messy, just because there's extra wire, more than I need. So yeah, that's the uh, build overview. I took it out for a maiden flight yesterday. It flies absolutely fantastic. You don't even need to throw it to launch it, just put it on the ground, hit full throttle and it just takes off by itself. Uh, with that 2200 3S pack I had in the nose, I got a 40 minute flight. Um, which is pretty impressive considering it was actually quite a windy day yesterday and there weren't any thermals to ride on. 
What's even more impressive is that this guy will actually cruise at just 15% throttle. 15%. I was absolutely blown away by that. Um, what I plan to do is I plan to replace that 2200 3S with a 3S Lion pack. It'll be a 3000 3S Lion pack. Hopefully then I'll be able to get way more than an hour's flight and on a good day with some thermals, maybe an hour and a half, maybe even two hours. We'll see. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.